Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back. Back. Back with another freaking video, man. Back with another video, guys. Hey, y'all gonna see me feeling with my little Kanye kind of vibe because my mouth is sore from oil work. So. I never had one implant prepared, and oh, my mouth. It's some. It's it, it's throbbing, but it feels stitchy. There's a lot of stitches back there, mm -hmm. so it feels like. Welcome rock. to my world, chocolate. No, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, all right, guys. What's going on? So happy to see you. Appreciate all your support. Keep coming back. We're just doing some things God is putting in our sphere. Can't wait for 2023, guys. So just keep showing up. Keep supporting us as we support you. And let's go. What we got? Hey, we got three questions that will destroy any argument with the left. Tom, so, so I guess it's going to just crush anything that the left tries to argue and say this, it, this is what we're about. It like, says destroy. So, yep. See? Destroy is a big word. Annihilate. So uh, why why do you think liberals have jumped on Walmart? Uh, because of its success? Because of its success, that's, that's a sufficient reason. Uh, they, they, they really are for helping, uh, they're for helping people who are disadvantaged, as they put it. Mm -hmm. um, wh whereas I think conser conservatives want, want to stop people from being disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. You know, they, you know the, the liberals want to help the poor while they're poor. But really the biggest benefit is to stop them from being poor. And that, that thing. that's key. Yeah. So, okay. So that's like, let's try to solve this problem yeah. or help, you know, break the cycle for the next generation. Yeah. Right. Whereas mm. liberals are, let's continue to feed the cycle. You're poor. Well, let's help you while you're poor. Let's yeah. keep on helping you be poor by helping you. Yeah. But you ain't helping me get rich. So you're helping me stay poor. forcing you to, you know, do some things a little different so you can get out of this cycle. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Very little interest in. What is the liberal premise? I guess uh, uh, the Rousseau notion, you know, that man is born free but is everywhere and changed, that the real problem of the world is that the institutions are wrong. If the institutions were right, then man, would, there, there was nothing in human nature that would cause us to be unhappy. It's the fact that we have the wrong institution. What is the conservative premise? That uh, man is flawed from, uh, from day one and that uh, you, there are no solutions, there are only trade offs. And whatever you do to deal with one of man's flaws, it creates another problem. But that you try to get the best trade-off you can get, mm -hmm. and that's all you can hope for. Uh, I've often said uh, there, there are three questions that I think would destroy most of the arguments on the left. And the first is, uh, compared to what? Compared to what? The second is, at what cost? And what cost? And the third is, what hard evidence do you have? What hard evidence? Now, there are very few ideas on the left that can pass all three of those kinds of things. Can conservative ideas pass those? Wow. Yes, I think so, because they, they, they don't assume that there, that there is a solution out there. Uh, you know, Adam Smith didn't believe that, the, that, the, that the, the, either the government or the market could solve all problems, that you have to be able to simply tolerate certain things. Uh, and the idea to the left of tolerating any evil, you know, that they want to stamp out the last vestige of segregation. Really? At what price? Mm. At what price? Yo. Wow. You know, At what cost? You know what happens? We want to stop our segregation, so let's make everybody, whatever, or however you feeling, whatever your feelings are. And what cost, according to let what? Let me finish. And what hard and evidence? And what feelings are? Let's let everybody have what they want, and then that causes problems. Yeah. Everybody can have what they want. I mean, but you got to be willing politically. to. But you got to be willing to work for what you want. Mm-hmm. And let's say a person does need some type of support and assistance. Okay, I understand that. But get the support new system to build up the tree trunk. And as the tree trunk strengthening, strengthens, you release, you know, you can let go of the support because it's no longer needed. Mm -hmm. It's no need to continue to wear support if you don't need it. Now, you, now you're damaging yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Let's go. I like that. Yes. I like and, that. And that's true. And that, I mean... The more and more that man talk, the more and more I, I see, I'm like, I, I see values that I appreciate. Yeah, because you have, to me, it's like one school of thought that wants to perpetuate the cycle. And the other and then wants you, to Yeah, wants to, end, to end the cycle and help you create a new cycle that's more beneficial. Mm. That's the mindset. That's the mindset. All right. Well, I I'm loving it. it. Man. We need to keep on doing these. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Let me, um... So y'all, y'all already know, man. 
like comment subscribe don't take a nose dive but comment in the section below we're gonna got some more see you in the next video guys yeah, yeah.